In a recent email to the MSR listserv, Bart uh, Halpern posed the question, does anyone know of any processes around uh, perception issues, uh, any team building processes? And uh, that, can go, that question could go a lot of different directions. I responded with a quick summary of a couple of uh, processes that I've developed and implemented over the years. Um, that may be a different slant on team building that involve uh, a little bit of spiral dynamics, a little bit of integral institutes or Ken Wilber's developmental um, psychology and spirituality, uh, but also uh, a little bit of Genpo Roshi's big mind in some cases. Um, and then the response uh, from several of the MSR members was, I'd like to know more about that. So rather than write something extensive up, I thought I'd just record this short little explanation of what I've done over the years. I'll give you three examples, three versions of these processes. I think the first thing I did uh, about five years ago, not long after I had learned the Big Mind process, um, and if you know what that is, just go to bigmind.org or go to Wilbur's uh, integralnaked.org uh, and look for Genpo Roshi. Uh, there are actually videotapes of him doing that process. It's essentially um, the short version of it is it's voice dialogue but with a vertical dimension um, so instead of just exploring horizontal voices uh, within the personality or within the self uh, there's also a, an opportunity toward the end of the process to go vertically and tap into uh, higher and broader levels of consciousness um, that's a very short explanation of what is an ornate uh, process that Ken Wilber describes as the, the greatest advance in Buddhist uh, contemplative technology in 200 years, I think is how he puts it. Uh, and I couldn't agree more. So um, in this first example, uh, the members of this training had already gone through Big Mind. And so they knew what it was to sit in this expanded state of consciousness and observe. But my intent was to um, give everybody an experience of what it is to hear different levels of consciousness, different perceptions at these different levels of consciousness that we all have access to at any given moment and can choose among uh, from the very most infantile level of consciousness to uh, the, our, our inner terrible two-year-old uh, all the way up to our, um, our highest guru. Uh, and But to sit from this highest guru consciousness, expanded consciousness, and listen to other people uh, in all these other levels. So I split the group into into two pieces. Had One group took them through a very shortened version of Big Mind, so that they were sitting in Big Mind. And the other half, I went off, uh, I told them to go off and um, argue in favor of the Kyoto Protocols, the global treaty that the uh, U.S. Senate rejected um, about eight years ago, or that the Clinton administration never took to the UN, U.S. Senate because of a certain defeat there. So their job was to argue for the, the Kyoto Protocols, but from what Spiral Dynamics would call, um, I think I started them at purple, which is a, a primitive tribal level of consciousness. And then I would take the anti-Kyoto Treaty uh, position, and so the uh, purple, the purple uh, uh, level people would come in and we had an argument while the big mind people watched and listened. Then, uh, after a few minutes of that, so you got a flavor of it, we stopped, kind of took a few deep breaths, and then I, sent, I, I flipped it. Uh, uh, the other half, the people who had just been big mind, went off in the other room, and their job was to come up with a strategy representing the red level values. Red is uh, what... Uh, Beck and Cowan of Spiral Dynamics called Power Gods level. Uh, egoistic, uh, ethnocentric, um, uh, power is right level of consciousness. Uh, while the, the, the other half, who had just been purple, uh, we went through a truncated big mind process, got them into the state of big mind, and then brought the Reds back in and had a Red conversation. Again, the Reds were on the pro-Kyoto Accords side of the argument, and I took the anti-side. I don't think it really matters what side. Um, I, I, I took that approach because I thought it would be interesting to see uh, particularly these lower levels arguing for 
the uh, international climate treaties. So, um, so, I, so, and we did that all the way up. Well, not all the way up, but we did that up several levels, up to I believe uh, green level, which would be um, post-rational, post-modern, but pre-integral stages of consciousness. And then debriefed everybody. What did you hear at these various levels? And uh, after we had gone through all of these levels of consciousness, and what was really splendid about it is that um, we got to hear the compassion that big mind take on lower levels of consciousness. And you really got a sense of what integral, an integral perspective is, embracing compassionate understanding compared to what the pre-integral. Um, green and below levels are. Even at the high level of green, it's still pre-integral in integral theory uh, and not particularly tolerant of other levels of consciousness. So that was one way we did it. Uh, 